Uh, mummification has some strange property that we have not been able to reproduce. Mummification saves a viable cell for cloning. And all my life, all my days, I knew this, because I studied ancient astronauts and I believe in these ancient high technologies, and I knew there was something mysterious, and even Time Warner told me that they could clone mummies. Sure enough, they did. In 1985, a mummy was cloned. All right? So, the fact that we can clone, mum or that mummies can be cloned, but at the same time, when we try to clone, or try to mummify, our mummies rot. We don't know the technology of the ancient Egyptians. We don't understand how it's possible to clone a mummy, or to, to make a mummy. So Lenin is rotting right now in the square, and they're having a big hoopla as to whether or not to actually bury him, because he's an icon of, of Russia. So that's going on right as we speak, and uh, they're trying to decide whether or not to bury him. Uh, it is entirely possible that you can clone a mummy, and this particular bloodline of mummy... Uh, it seems to be very interesting and intriguing. Uh, once you realize, okay, so the titles that the Secret Service gave the first family, renegade, okay, this, this, uh, the definition of renegade, to uh, turn on your people, to turn on your friends, to be an apostate, to be a, a backstabber, uh, this is what renegade is the definition. Uh, then we find Michelle Obama, now, look at this. Okay, I, I did not manipulate that photo one bit. That is her high school image. This is the, the same woman, Queen T, that I'm discussing. And so I'm going to leave you with the concept that perhaps our leaders have cloned this ancient bloodline of mummies, of pharotic bloodline, and brought them back to life as our first family.